So today I happen to see another Hollywood movie. It's called Roadhouse. The movie stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor, who is from UFC. I love Conor McGregor. He's a great, great fighter at the UFC, but a terrible actor. Now Roadhouse is a remake uh, of an old Hollywood movie, which I haven't seen. Uh, apparently, it was a bomb when it came out long time ago. When the original came out long time ago, that movie bombed at the box office. People hated that movie, but somehow director Doug Liman and MGM Studios, Amazon, they produced this movie. Before I start critiquing the movie, the director of the film, Doug Liman, he went on protest because Amazon decided to release the movie on their streaming platform on Amazon Prime Video and not uh, in theaters like he wanted to. But unfortunately, Doug Liman is wrong. This is not a theater-worthy movie. It's a it's a streaming movie. It has to be. You know, back in the day, they used to make B-grade action movies, which would come directly to DVD. It's the same thing here. Even though Roadhouse has actors like Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, even though it has other, you know, director like Doug Liman. Doug Liman has made other action movies like the Matt Damon movie, uh, Matt Damon, Born Identity. Uh, the entire Born franchise came out of that one movie. That was a great movie. That that came out years, years ago. I think 20 years at least. I think it came around 2005 or 6 and this is 2024 Doug Liman is still using the same old you know th this movie feels like a 90s movie it does not feel like a new age action movie it's very old school and rightly so or maybe not the the, the main story uh, as you might have guessed if you've seen the trailer Jake Gyllenhaal pretends to be Jack Reacher where he goes around helping people he's a fighter he's an ex UFC fighter there was this entire marketing with Jake Gyllenhaal appearing at UFC, very short real scenes of the movie. The entire UFC thing is like a background. It's not part of the real story. It's more like a flashback. The story is about Jake Gyllenhaal going around helping people for money. He's like a bouncer. The entire story of the movie is about Jake Gyllenhaal helping out a roadhouse, a bar from rich people who want to take over their land. The business is owned by a black woman, of course, you know, it's Hollywood, it's Amazon Prime Video. So obviously the business person who's being affected is a black woman of color. It's as woke as it comes. Anyway, the story is where everything falls. The screenplay, the I, I, I thought at least, you know, because Doug Liman is making this movie, I thought the action would be good. You know, Doug Liman has made uh, Edge of Tomorrow with Tom Cruise, which is a great action sci-fi movie. And I thought maybe this movie would have great action, at least. You know, maybe the story isn't good, maybe the screenplay isn't good, at least the action would be good. But I was wrong. The action is terrible. Uh, it's not as exciting. It's there's lots of cuts going on. There are like five, ten cuts for thirty seconds of the scene. Uh, you know the action is very poor, uh, unimaginative, not good, terrible. Disney Plus, Disney Plus has TV shows which have better action. You know if you watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier or any other TV show, TV shows have better action. TV movies have better action. Uh, unfortunately, the fight scenes are mediocre. Uh, the action choreography is terrible. The acting, you know, Conor Mc... Jake Gyllenhaal is a great actor. He's done lots of good movies in the past. You know, he's a very underrated actor. I cannot believe he hasn't won an Oscar yet. He should be the next Batman in DCU. He's great. You know, he worked out so hard for this movie. He he built his muscles. Maybe he's on roids. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, he still built himself for this role. Unfortunately, this role, it's too small for Jake Gyllenhaal. The role is too mediocre. The writing is bad. The acting from Jake Gyllenhaal, as usual, is great. He's the villain of the story is Conor McGregor, uh, who is a UFC fighter. He's, this is his first. It's his first movie. It's his debut as an actor. And is he good? No, he's terrible in the movie. He pretends to beat Conor McGregor. He 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 literally lived his life in the movie as Conor McGregor. He walks like Conor. He talks like Conor. The producers paid him money to just be himself in the movie. His acting is aw awful. He's not as good as I thought he would be. He was he was entertaining as Conor McGregor in a Conor McGregor movie. Would I recommend that you watch this movie? Well, if you have a lot of time to waste, if you have two hours to waste, and if you want to see a mediocre B-grade action movie, I would recommend that you watch Roadhouse with Conor McGregor, uh, who is a lot of fun to watch. He's also cringy. His dialogue really is poor. Uh, it clearly is his first rodeo, so we'll see how he improves later on.
I wish him and I wish Roadhouse the very best. This is not a theatrical movie. It's a it's a straight to DVD, straight to streaming movie. I'll give it a solid six out of ten.